Our running dry coverage continues as Arizona's water crisis worsens. In just three months, homeowners in an upscale community north of Scottsdale will lose their water. And today, the only plan to keep the water flowing past January 1st was shot down. One resident tells Team 12's Bram Resnick she's terrified by what might happen next. Bram joins us right now with reaction and also what happens now. Bram? Yeah, the Rio Verde foothills has become a national cautionary tale about the impact of Arizona's water crisis. Residents call the area north of Scottsdale a desert haven, cooler during the day, pitch black at night. It's also an unincorporated area that doesn't have its own municipal water supply. Many residents never thought much of it until recently. Scottsdale warned months ago that it would stop delivering water there next year. The Maricopa County Board today rejected a last-ditch plan allowing residents to tax themselves to pay for water. Based on our reporting today, no one can say where Rio Verde Foothills residents will get their water on New Year's Day. Hundreds of families are preparing for life without water. How terrifying is that? It, it seems unbelievable, to be honest. Meredith D'Angelo says it's like being back in college. We have a health club membership, so we can shower at the health club. My parents, you know, live not that far away. Where do you do laundry? Households in the Rio Verde foothills could lose their water when the city of Scottsdale stops hauling it there on January 1st. Scottsdale is worried about its own water supply as Lakes Mead and Powell fall to perilously low levels. So, is there a plan B for these homeowners? I don't think there is one. The Maricopa County Board on Wednesday voted down the only plan for delivering water to the foothills. A proposed taxing district overseen by residents could have struck a deal with a water provider. But the plan was deemed to have too many unintended consequences. What we have done over the last eight months is considerable progress that I believe that the city of Scottsdale should be happy with. Maricopa County Supervisor Thomas Galvin represents the Rio Verde foothills. Galvin says he believes Scottsdale officials might change their mind about water hauling, knowing residents are working at a longer term solution. There are people in Rio Verde who are telling us they're terrified about what might happen on January 1st. Can you tell them that they have nothing to worry about? Well, I'm not going to speak on behalf of the city of Scottsdale, but I am confident that common sense is going to prevail. But a spokeswoman for Scottsdale's water department provided this blunt statement to 12 News. Scottsdale has not talked to the county regarding this topic. Our position has not changed. We need to just keep making phone calls and keep pushing people to say, how are they going to help our community? We cannot go dry. And Bram, it's kind of unfathomable to think that an entire community could have their water cut off. Is there really nothing that can be done here? There might be one thing that can be done uh, if it's even possible, and it would take more than two years to complete it. Arizona's utility regulators, the Corporation Commission, asked a private water company called EPCOR to review the Rio Verde predicament. Last Friday, EPCOR reported back to the commission that it could take on the project, but it could take more than two years to complete, inflation could drive up the cost, and Rio Verde residents would pay a lot more for their water than they're paying right now. And keep in mind, the Corporation Commission moves very slowly, and this water is needed right now. I don't understand how this happened, though. I mean, they, they had to know for a long time that this was inevitable. Here's the thing, Mark. They didn't. There was no requirement that any of these homeowners be told about the water source, and apparently many of them didn't ask, even though you're living way back in the desert. If you've ever been there, yeah. this can feel yeah. place can feel miles away from Phoenix, literally and figuratively. But they did not, under the law, they did not have to be told. So is it a buyer beware? Totally. Totally buyer beware. Buyer be suspicious about where the water's coming from, especially right now. Yeah, this is a good learning lesson, yeah. I think, for others thinking about being in those types of communities. Might be an expensive learning lesson. You got yeah. million dollar homes up there. Yeah, yeah. the new normal for all of us. Yeah. Questions about um, water.